going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another episode of the jacksons of atlanta i'm your girl mahogany if you're new here welcome 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 if you are returning what's up family so good to see you guys another day as you guys know on this channel we share our co-parenting journey so that's exactly what you are going to be getting today an update on how everything is going how are the kids i'm actually going to allow mouths trying to move my sand i'm actually going to a lot of kids to have like their own kind of session as far as updating you in their own way allowing you guys to peek into their personal world what are they enjoying right now and all of that so i'm really really excited about this video as i said my name is mahogany if you are new i also have my own channel called mahogany's world and on that i share my healing journey i share updates on what i have going in my entrepreneurship journey which is a latest book release which i'm super excited about I also just show how I'm navigating life with the kids so it's a lot going on over there so definitely make sure you're subscribed and locked in and I also put my social medias on the screen in case you guys want to get locked in on Instagram Facebook TikTok and all of that so without further ado I am super 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 excited for this video it's going to be super sweet um right now when it comes to our co-parenting journey it's been tough if I could be honest, you know, my goal is, especially with me not being the one that wanted the divorce, I was hoping that, you know, we would be able to come to a 50-50 split with the kids or at least something close, even if it's like 60-40 or something like that. But right now we haven't been able to do that and that's been really, really tough. Um, but I'm just going to continue to just put one step forward and just strive and continue to just build that type of journey, if possible, build that type of co-parenting schedule if possible um of course i know you can't make anybody do anything i definitely get that and i know it's other things that i can do you know that my divorce attorney has advised me of but it's just like i'm trying to work together to create this um and when it comes to the split i do have the kids the majority of the time if y'all want to know like where i fall with that percentage but anyway Without further ado, um, I want you guys to be able to check out what we have going on today. The kids are in a good mood. They're feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, they just ate not too long ago. They had like a brunch for lunch type vibe. Um, and they really love that. So I'm glad they had like pancakes and they had like chicken breast. And I kind of gave them like an Atlanta style brunch lunch type of thing. And so that was really good. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video and let you guys see what we have going on at the moment and then i'm gonna like pull them aside and let them talk to you guys about what is interesting to them and what is exciting to them and how they're doing any updates and things like that they want to share because they have their own personalities and they are just them and i love that if you are new i have six boys in the house we have justin who is the oldest twin justin marcel mateo milo mouse and maverick and y'all get ready to see all of my baby boys so let's go ahead and do it so right here we have mousy hey man hey mousy y'all mouse is so sweet mouse can you say hey I know. Say hey. Thank you, baby, for encouraging him. So, y'all, this is Mousy. If you are OG, you know that. What's that? A sock? Huh? Your sock, Mouse. 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 Is this your sock? Is this your sock? Mouse, like, Mama, I do not. Mouse, don't be doing the camera. In my last video that I uploaded on this channel, I can't remember if it was my last video on this channel or if it was on my channel, my Heidi's World, but Miles was talking. Y'all, don't be deceived. Miles can talk. He is very much camera shy, and hopefully he grows out of that, but if he doesn't, hey, all of my sons have their own purpose, and if being on camera ain't one of them, hey, it is what it is. So they're all talented at different things, and I always just pull those gifts out of them and i let them feel comfortable and free to be talented in whatever they want to do just like one thing i learned y'all with justin jr is he actually likes being behind the camera every time i had a camera set up he wants to go and like work it and turn the angles and stuff and so i thought that was very interesting and milo likes music and so whatever my kids like that's what i push that's what i 
like pour more of that into them and allow them to explore. So, look, Miles watching me though. What? Who is that boy? Who is that boy? Is that what? Is that Miles? A cheese. 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 Here's Justin. Justin, how you doing? Cheese. How you doing, Justin? Good. Oh my God. Who is that boy? What's his name? Is his name Miles? Is his name Miles? Huh? Here you go. With myself. All right, I'm coming over there to y'all. I'm gonna come over there to all of y'all, okay? Hey, mama, need blanket. Hey, mama, need blanket. You need a blanket? Okay, I'll get y'all a blanket. Oh my gosh, now everybody wanna say cheese. Hey, yes, that's a Hot Wheel. All right, y'all, this vlog is getting super chaotic. But let's play Justin in a minute. <laughs> Marcel said, let's play Justin in a minute. Mama. Don't fall. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah. Be careful. Don't fall. Don't hit your head in the bed. Mm. <laughs> oh, mm. now here go Milo. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, so back to Miles. What you doing? He does not like to answer on camera. Yeah. What you doing? Huh? I got Tia. Y'all, they not. What you just did? Oh. You sticking your tongue out? Do a silly face. Go. <laughs> Good. Oh. Now do a. Do a cheese. Go. Cheese. Okay. All right. And then go. How about we do. Uh, let's see what other kind of face we can do. Um, Mateo, you want to join? Yeah. All right. Let me go around, y'all. Because right now I was trying to do this angle with just. Miles, but everybody else is coming in, so now Mateo feeling like that. Hold on, Mateo, I'm gonna say something. What's up, Mateo? What's up? Say what's up, y'all. Mateo, say what's up. Can you show them? Can you show? He want his. Can you show them a funny face? Look at me. I mean, look at them. Can you show them a funny face? Yeah. Show them big cheese eggs. Yeah, that's. I like that one. That was a good one. Huh? Justin got something of yours? All right, I'll show y'all see Maverick on the floor. He's doing tummy sound, but he's been rolling over y'all, so. He be on his stomach and be like, nah, I'm rolling over. Hey, Mav Mav. Hey, Maverick. What you got? What you got? Was you playing with this? Huh? Was you playing with this? Was you playing while you was doing your tummy time? With your hands on stuff? Hey, Manny Man. Hey, Manny Man. Look, here you go, y'all. Hey, Manny. And boom. He does it. This is what he does. What? I wanted to do tummy time, too. Yeah. I wanted to do tummy time. Swing your leg. Swing your leg. All right. There you go. Hey, that man is back on his front. Yeah, that man is back on his front. Yeah. Can you read me your book? Hmm? Can you read me your book? What does your book say? Huh? You got it? What does your book say? That's an airplane. Yes. Yes, ma'am, ma'am. That's an airplane. You want mommy to push it closer to you? Hey, my man, man. Hey, my man, man. Hey, what? You looking up at your brothers? You looking up at your brothers? Yeah, you are. Mav, Mav. Maverick is infatuated with his brothers. Justin, you have to share, son. Justin, you have to share. 
chair. Get you another car. Mateo is playing with that car right now. Come on, baby. Got it? Yeah. You sure? Good job, Taya. Good job. Also, guys, a potty training update. Marcel is fully potty trained. He's been fully potty trained for a while. He did regress a bit when we split in the beginning, but he's back on track. Can you show them, guys? Can you show them a little bit of your new um your new underwear that you've been wearing that your grandma got you? You don't have to, no, no, no. You don't got to pull your shirt all the way down. All right, guys, so to show y'all, but I told him, pull his shirt down. All right, who is that on there? Lightning. Lightning. All right, guys, so um, Marcel is fully potty trained, and I'm thankful for that. As I said, he was potty trained a while back, but with the whole split, life was crazy. Life was crazy. But I talked to even a child therapist, and they're like, it's normal for when big transitions happen like that in life for some regression to take place. But I'm glad that we're back on track. And then with our other little boys, y'all see we have a little party right there. And I got this set up. I keep this set up downstairs for Marcel. The one with the ladder right there for him and for Justin Jr. Justin Jr. is gonna take a little while just because he's autistic, but we don't make that an excuse. We continue to keep him going all the time, but it's just more of a journey. And so I work with his therapist, which he has an RBG, RBT. And basically that's the therapist that comes in the house and works with him. And so it's a journey. It's a journey and we understand that and we give him grace, but we still keep the standard the same as far as like we send him as many times and we just keep working on it. His journey may be longer and that's okay. I'm not going to allow anybody to make him feel bad or make me of course feel bad about where my son is in his journey because some things are harder for him to grasp and that's okay there may be some autistic kids that they learn faster and that's okay there's some things that justin strives at he's phenomenal at and i'm really proud of him so that's that but we you know we still keep the standard where it is um and then as far as an update because i know you guys are very invested as far as and not in a rude way i'm just saying y'all are very invested in that journey and i think sometimes you guys think just because people don't show a thing that does that doesn't mean it's not happening um just because i'm not showing in this video them outside doesn't mean they don't go outside just because i'm not showing them at their friend's house doesn't mean they don't have friends and they don't play with kids in the neighborhood it's just certain things I feel safe, I feel good about sharing, and that's what I share. And I appreciate you guys that are locked in and enjoy the moments that I do choose to share, or my kid's father chooses to share. Um, but anywho, as far as Mateo and Milo, they do wear pull-ups, and so they are party training. Um, and you know, it's a journey, but I don't think it's gonna take them long, honestly. I feel like they'll be wrapped up here soon. But boys, I've heard, are harder to party train, so I gotta see, so. But we still knocking it out, period. So let's go around and do these updates. 
So the first one we have is Marcel. Marcel, can you just tell them a little bit about what's been going on in your life? Um, what have you been enjoying doing? And I guess tell them a little bit about what you're working on right now. So what are you building? I like a track. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay. Is that something you know how to make on your own or do you need help to do that? Help. You need help? Who usually helps you when you make those? So what were you, okay, sorry, the camera cut off. What were you saying? Okay, so does anybody help you make these or do you make them by yourself? Me. You make them? Does Mateo help you sometimes? Mateo, the house, yeah. I guess he's helping you right now. So what are some of your favorite things to do? You say you like building something? So, some of your favorite things to do is build? Yes. What do you like building? What do you like building? Okay, like tracks. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, Marcel is focused in his own right, and so I'm not going to bother him anymore. How have, you, how have you been doing? Wait, Marcel, he's trying to help you. How have you been doing? Do you miss your dad? Yes. Do you love your daddy? Yeah. Is there anything you want to say to the people on the camera? What do you want to tell your... What do you, they're called subscribers. But what do you want to tell your family online? Y'all, he... I'm sorry. Well, we'll swing back around to Marcel because he's building. All right, let's go to... Um, Mateo, you want to talk? Yeah. Marcel, let him... Can, let him, can he do it? So, Mateo, how are you doing? Yeah. Good? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You building a track? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Milo want to show me something. How you doing, Milo? Yeah. Ta-da. I love it. Good job, baby. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, go. What's that? <laughs> it's a clock? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What time is it? Mm. Looks like it's 2 o'clock. Yeah. Is it 2 o'clock? Yeah. What you say? Yeah. yeah, Milo did build that. Yeah. So, Mateo, what did you what did what did you eat today, Mateo? Eat. What did you eat for breakfast? Uh, hmm? <laughs> I saw you tell him, Marcel. <laughs> yeah, you did have the pancakes. Mama. Hmm? Oh. I wait, love it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. You need some help? Oh. You want me to help you with open? Oh, no, 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 no. Mommy can help you. So, Mommy has to take it like this. Marcel, can you pull this in so I can show him? Yeah. All right. Ready? You pull, I pull. Ugh. Perfect. Thank you, Mama. baby. What? Yeah. This is this what Milo want. So Milo, we got us, we got some puzzles in there. You want to play with your puzzles? Yeah. Ah. Oh, what happened? Did it break? So how have you been doing, Milo? How you been doing, Milo? You been doing good? What's that? You know what this is? It's a yellow. Square. Huh? That's the puzzle. Look, let me show you. So, what you can do, look, look, Milo. Mama, mama, mama. A what? A ball, yeah. Mama, a ball. I see, baby, it's a ball. What's that? A yellow square? Yeah. So, look, Milo. So, Milo, I take the square and then I put it there. <laughs> you pay me no mind. You need some help? Hold on, real quick, Marcel, because I wanna. I'm showing Milo. What you need help with? This, that. <sighs> okay, baby. So look, we have to look and see. Look at this one. No. Okay, so look at this one. You see it? And you put it. See that? Yep. 
See, it doesn't fit because you have to get the right one. See, look. Look at that. Look at what you got. Mm -hmm. Look. You see, you got this one? Yes. It has to match. See that? See? Now, I want you to do it. Mm. Yeah, see? It's right. Now, you do one. No. Try right here. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Look. Good job, Milo. Good job. It's fitting. It fits. All right. Okay. What we got? Um, I know about. All right. Yeah. Try to wreck. Yeah. Try that one. Right there. Good. Good job, baby. So, Mateo, let's do an update with you. What have you been doing lately? Yeah, that is Justin. What do you do? <gasps> is he building it? And I forgot, we actually already updated with you. You said you had some pancakes this morning. <laughs> Did he do it? Did Marcel do it? Yeah. All right. So I think we've done Mat Marcel, Mateo, Milo. We've talked to Miles. Miles is controlling the TV. What's up? <laughs> Mama, like, I was like, get the camera on my face, mama. We caught up with Maverick. So, guys, here is my Justin Weston. One thing he's been really excited about, guys, these days is elephants. And so, he's going to show it to you. Can you show me your elephants? This is something that really makes him happy. So, guys, on Netflix, Justin loves watching elephants. What's that, Justin? Mm -mm. <laughs> he changes the speed and stuff. What's that? Show me, show me how the elephant go. Ooh, yeah, Justin's an elephant. What? Show me. What happened? What do elephant do? Show me. So guys, it's been a little bit since the kids have seen their dad, so I'm going to try and reach out to him today and see if he could possibly come over. You good, Milo? You good, Miles? Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, this is just an update. I hope you were able to look into their world, see what they're interested in. Some of them are busy doing what they love to do and having fun. I'm getting ready to make me a pulled pork sandwich. I have not ate all day, but I actually made some pulled pork. And so I'm getting ready to make me a pulled pork sandwich. When the kids was eating, I was cleaning the kitchen, sitting down and talking with them. But my appetite just be so up and down. But my therapist just let me know, like, when it comes to just the insomnia, ice burns, and, you know, my appetite is just normal when going through a divorce. And so I talk a lot about that, like, on my channel, like, how I'm doing. I don't really use this channel to do that because this is really supposed to be just our kids and updates with that. And our personal platforms is where we update, you know, on everything else because, you know, the reason we kept this channel is because so many of you guys saw the kids grow up and we wanted to continue to allow you guys to watch them grow even though we are splitting so nonetheless that's an update i hope you have enjoyed just watching the kids in their element we are going to be moving soon so i'm going to be heavily showing that on my channel but i'll also give you guys updates about that i went ahead and ordered their bed hold on a second i'm gonna show y'all their bed so guys um I have ordered the kids' beds, and I'm really in love with them. Um, for Mateo, Milo, and Miles, those three are actually going to be in one room. I was really indecisive about that at first, but I was talking to everybody on my channel, and they were like, just put those three in a room, especially since, Ma especially since Maverick is in my room. It just makes sense to have those three together. My other alternative was literally going to be putting Maverick and Miles in a room together, but since it would just be Miles in there right now because Maverick stays in my room. So I was just like, I'll just put them three in a room 
because I don't really know how long. Stop. I don't know how long Maverick will be in my space. All right. So these are the beds I'm doing for Justin and Marcel. Right here. I really love them. And they're bump beds and they can be detached though. And I love that, y'all, I'm crooked. I love that because I'm trying the whole bump bed thing, but, and they're low bump beds, they're not even high, but it's like, I am very cautious of it just because Justin and his autism and I just don't want him to be jumping off the top. And so I'm gonna try it, allow them to have their responsibility since it's definitely age appropriate now. But I do love that they can be detached just in case he's not, it does, just doesn't work right now. So, and then for the little boys, I'm doing these beds. They're so cute. And um, I think they're going to love them because they're cars. So I'm really excited just about the whole move, moving into my own space and, you know, all of that. Um, I'm going to begin a lot of new furniture in my new place just because I want to start fresh. Some things I will be bringing like my kitchen table because I need that. Um, and that kitchen table ain't really do nothing to me. And I honestly felt like if anything, I didn't even sit there that much. Um, I mean, it's sat there a good amount of times, but it's like, there ain't nothing wrong with that table. The couch, I'm probably gonna bring to the house, but I'm going to be getting a new one just because I don't wanna keep that couch. Nothing's wrong with it. I might sell it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Basically what my kid's father and I end up doing, and I know me saying my kid's father really kind of bothers people, but I have to do what's best for my healing journey. So some days he's my kid's father. Some days he's my soon-to-be ex-husband. Whatever language I feel like that's helping me. That's what I do. And I hate that I have to explain that, but I feel like people just have so many questions. I feel like over here on my channel, they get it. But, you know, I guess it's just different. Um, Cause I really established that on my channel, like what it is and what it ain't. But I get it takes some people longer and that's just that. Just like even some people are like, who's holding the camera for you right now? I'm using a tripod. So many people, I guess it's hard for them to understand the split. And you know, as I shared before, we've done pranks and stuff, but it's like, never a four or five month long prank like this is real but i know it just takes people a while and i'm okay with that so what we ended up doing my kids father and i as i was saying we did split up the things that we wanted in the house so basically you know talked via email and was like hey i want this i want that we reviewed everybody's li each other's list and was like okay that's cool with me or no i actually want that um and since i do have like physical custody full-time custody of the kids right now i pretty much get priority over what i choose because i have them and so that did come into play and that's why i end up keeping a sofa because it's like i want to make sure that when i move we got somewhere for them to sit in case my sofa takes a while to get there and different things like that but a lot of stuff i did just give because i mean i don't want like my podcast furniture you know i did not want that stuff because i'm gonna be doing my own podcast and i just want it to be new the bed did not want that for obvious reasons um so as y'all see me move i'll be taking bits and pieces from this house but not a lot and i was talking to my mom just about the whole move and everything and you know she's super happy because she's like it'll be a fresh start for me you know, I'll have my own place. I'm not going to be buying a place. I'm going to be renting because, you know, I don't want to be making any big decisions right now while going through this. But I know, like, okay, if I rent for maybe, like, 12 months, then by then I should be more grounded in this whole process, doing the mom thing by myself and all of that or whatever. The hope is that we have a better co-parenting journey by then. And so I'll be more, like, established in my new life if that makes sense to figure out where i want to move or what kind of house i want to buy things like that do i like the schools because by then the kids would have at least been in school almost a year so it's a lot of little things like that why i chose to rent and then like i'll have my own place with just my name on it so i'm really looking forward to just the whole fresh start and um it's going to be really good for me and my kids and this whole journey has been a lot, but God is seeing me through. God has just allowed me to just 
have so many new opportunities come my way and he's just showing me that he's taking care of me every step of the way and so i'm getting ready to end this video because i'm ready to make my pulled pork sandwich because everybody else ate and i'm hungry let us pray before i go lord god i thank you for this day thank you for waking me up and starting me on our way thank you for waking us up and starting us on our way god i pray that you'll continue to lead and guide us in every way god i pray that you'll continue to touch our hearts god our minds god renew our minds god god us that may be carrying a mentalities and things or even thoughts about ourselves that are not like you god i cast them down god and i speak that we are renewing our mind to see ourselves the way that you see us see our situations the way you see them god i thank you for just allowing us to be taken care of god financially god i thank you for meeting every need god i thank you for your word that says that if you take care of the flowers and the birds aren't we much more than that so we know that you will take care of us just like you take care of everything else. God, I thank you that the best is yet to come for us. God, I thank you that you're disconnecting us from people, God, who can't go with us to this new place. God, I thank you that you're disconnecting friends. I thank you that you're disconnecting people and things and places, God, that may be holding us back from where you're calling us to be. And God, in that process, God, we invite in the new, the you, the God opportunities, the God friendships, the God people, God, that we will need, God, to love us and support us and be around us as we just embark upon this new journey. And God, when I say new journey, God, it's not just about my situation, but God, I know that everyone, no matter their age, weight, race, life, we're all on a journey. God, we may not all be going through a divorce. God, that might be my story right now. But God, some people may be going through a breakup. They may be getting over a sickness. They may be starting a new job. They may be stepping out on their own for the first time. They may be doing a business. They may be growing with themselves. They may be unlearning habits. or They may be healing their inner child. They may be healing their inner self. Whatever they're doing right now, God, I know that we're all on a journey. We all are. And so God, in that, journey we ask for you to continue to lead and guide us in every way god we want to be close to you we don't want just good opportunity we don't want good opportunities period we want god opportunities because we know behind a good door could be a trap but god if we walk the way you want us to and we walk through god opportunities that god will be walking into blessing after blessing and so god we thank you for everything that you're doing in our life god we ask you to forgive us of our sins lord god and we thank you for just being the lord of our life it's in jesus name i pray amen all right y'all well i'm heading out and ending this vlog hope you guys enjoyed like i said make sure you are subscribed to mahogany's world as well as this channel and make sure you follow me on all social media platforms i love y'all can y'all say bye all right guys see y'all in the next one Two sets of twins, ain't no stopping us. Subscribe to the channel, uh, keep on rocking with us. Jackson's in Atlanta, uh, you see the fam, man. I know you tune in to just stand in my hockey. Two sets of twins, ain't no stopping us. Subscribe to the channel, uh, keep on rocking with us.